difference, this has a 5.5 inch um, 2K display, meaning 2560 by 1440 resolution. The display definitely looks nice. It's sharp, it has great viewing angles and very deep uh, blacks. And as you will see in a second, it definitely looks quite nice. On the front, you get an eight megapixel front camera. Um, there's nothing on the bottom here. And as you can see, the chins are actually a bit big. It's actually as big as the, um, as the iPhones. Um, Fortunately, the bezels on the right and left look a bit smaller, so that's that's nice that Google keeps this slim at least. Uh, what I also noticed when I took it in the hand for the first time, it actually is very light. It's so much lighter than the iPhone 7 Plus, at least it feels lighter. Um, on the left side, you can put your um, nano SIM card inside here. There's no storage expansion in this slot. Um, on the bottom, USB Type-C with quick charge 3.0 by Qualcomm. So Google claims you get um, seven hours of usage time and 15 minutes charging time. We will see if we can prove that. It's probably call time, um, not real browser usage, for example. Also, um, there is a microphone on the right, uh, a speaker, a single speaker on the left. It does get quite loud, but uh, we will see in the final review how good its stacks have to be other competition. Um, there is a volume rocker on the right side, and then there is a textured standby button on the right side as well and on the top yes you get a three and a half millimeter headphone jack which is a nice addition nowadays um, you usually don't get that anymore at least not with apple and not with motorola anymore um, so the back and the frame of the phone are made out of one piece of solid aluminum and it definitely feels really nice in your hand it has some nice curves so um, it does yeah, it does feel nice in your hand. Um, on the top, you get Gorilla Glass. So Google says that they made it on purpose, not only for design purposes, uh, which does look interesting, but also for getting better antennas inside here so you get better reception on Wi-Fi, but also on cellular networks. And on the back, um, we have a 12 megapixel, 12.3 megapixel, megapixel camera uh, with an f2.0 aperture lens and a dual LED flash. Um, unfortunately, no optical image stabilization, so we will have to find out how good this phone behaves in low light situations. The pixels are quite big with 1.55 micron. Uh, they are actually the same size as in the Nexus 6P or the Nexus 5X from last year. Um, but as I said, no longer exposures since you don't get uh, optical image stabilization here, but they do have um, digital image stabilization for video, which actually looks quite nice. Um, also, there is a fingerprint reader, which is called the Pixel Imprint. On the back, there are no added features to it. It just unlocks your phone, and of course, you can pay with Google Pay. So now let's have a further look at the Google Pixel XL here at uh, the Berlin event. We have the fingerprint reader on the back, which is um, actually quite fast if we lock the phone again and unlock it you see by the time um, we turn around the phone it actually is unlocked so this is pretty quick um, also with a pixel XL you get the newest Android version which is 7.1 Nougat um, but first of all we have a look at the app drawer so you can swipe up to see all your apps which is new with um, the app launcher in Nougat you can also search the apps at the top so um, that's also quite convenient like Chrome over here. Um, if we go back, what's also interesting is you can long press an app, like for example the Photos app, to um, tap on the quick search for example, or you can long press and add this feature to the home screen, like your home address, and you just have um, your home address as an app icon on your home screen. So that is quite convenient. Also you can just jump into uh, YouTube search by tapping it and then you're just ready to go, which is actually quite convenient and resembles a bit um, Apple's um, yeah, force touch features. Um, so if we have a look at the settings, we swipe down and go right into the settings over there, um, you can see that this is running Android 7.1, which is the newest version of Nougat. Um, and um, yeah, it's the Pixel XL as you can see here. If we go back, um, this is the German version. You can see on the right side where, is, where it says Hilfe. Hilfe means help. So you can um, call Google or chat with them if you have any kind of problems with your